much like a real compound microscope. To succeed in getting a specimen into view, follow this sequence of steps. The checklist will help you keep track of steps you have completed. First, turn on the light. Click here to learn how to do this. Turn on the light by using this switch. Then adjust the rheostat all the way to 10. Any additional light adjustments should be made using the iris diaphragm lever. Click here to learn how to select a specimen. On the real microscope, you need to open the spring-loaded clip and fit the slide neatly into the corner of the slide holder. Then release the clip. For the simulation, all you need to do is click on the desired slide. Select the slide now, and then click here to learn how to set the scope to low power. Turn the ocular housing to select the lens. Although it is not obvious from this angle, the lens in this back position is the one that is in the light path. Turn the ocular housing now to set the blue 4X lens into position. Then click here to learn how to move the specimen into the light path. Move the slide in a forward-backward direction by turning this knob the slide from side to side by using this knob. Continue adjusting until the specimen is centered over the circle of light. Then click here to learn about focus adjustments. There are two focus knobs. The coarse focus knob moves the stage rapidly. The fine focus knob moves it very slowly. Right now, what you want to do is use the coarse focus to move the stage as high as it will go. Do this now. Then click more. At this point, you are ready to look through the microscope for the first time. Click here to continue. You can use the Switch Views button at any time to go back and forth between looking at the microscope and looking through the microscope. When you look through the microscope for the first time, you will most likely need to adjust the oculars. The goal is to get the two circles of light to merge into one. Click here for a demonstration. Now you try it. When you've succeeded, click Adjust Focus. When looking through the microscope, use coarse focus only with low power. Starting with the stage at the top, and with the 4X objective in place, adjust coarse focus down as slowly as possible until the image appears. 
Try this now. If the image does not appear after several tries, switch views and check to make sure your specimen is in the light path. Click Fine Tuning Next. Use the Fine Focus knob to improve the clarity of your image. Use the XY controls to move the area of interest into the center of the image. Use the iris diaphragm to adjust the brightness of the image. It is often necessary to readjust both fine focus and the iris diaphragm after switching objective lenses. Fine tune your image at low power now. Then click switch objectives. Once you have the image well focused under low power, you are ready to move up to the next objective lens. Here is how it would look with the letter E as a specimen. First, you should position the area of interest in the center of the circle of light. For the purposes of this simulation, be sure you are inside the red circle. Recall that the lens in use is the one that appears toward the back of the objective housing. 